putting on. I've got this deliciously simple and very sweet little owl for you today. So let's go ahead and let's draw him in. We've got a nice big head, a slightly elongated oval. Let's draw in the centre line, slightly on an angle because we want him to have a slight tilt to his head. Let's get these great big eyes in, as big as we can get them on the page pretty much. And let's draw in the pupils, getting a nice round shape there. We'll go round a few times till we're happy with the shape. And then we've got another round shape to draw around here. Looking good, looking good, looking good. There we go. Let's get a nice beak in here. And we'll get a nice owly kind of head shape going on up here. And we'll echo that round about here. Bring in some nice ears. Oh, look at him. Very sweet, very sweet. And we're going to get the body in straight. So we'll draw ourselves a centre line. Nice little body on this guy. Not too big. Make him look really cute. Let's give him a ruffle around his neck. Let's give him a beautiful tail. We'll fan that out. There we go. And we'll do a nice curve here. There we go. And we've got some gorgeous wing shapes. Let's get those in. We'll have some nice open wings, nice simple frilly kind of shape there with another one echoing it on the inside. I think we might make that slightly different. I think I'll do that like this. And let's do that the same on the other side. Okay, we've nearly finished drawing this guy out. Let's give him some little feet. We're making him fly by putting his feet at this sort of angle. Look, if we'd have put them the other way around, he could have been resting on a branch. Right, I'm going to start inking this in. I'm going to go for my nice thick pen. This is a one millimetre pen. And I'm just going to confidently draw in these lines now. I'm going to come around to there and go up like this. And the same on this side. There we go. I'm going to come all the way around. All the way around. Might stop there. And the same on this side. Mm, I should have turned my work for that one really. We've got a slightly wobbly head but not to worry. Go this way like this. Put a rough in. Let's get his eyes in. Now this owl is for Sophie. I saw Sophie this morning and she said would I draw an owl. So here you go Soph. I hope you like him. There we go, got the highlights in. I'm going to make that slightly curved on all sides there. There we go. And I think I'll do these other lines in my thinner pen. I'm going to go round the body, put these little feet in. Ah, little cutie pie. There we go. Let's get these wings in. Nice, confident lines. Look at that. Oh, it's nice to draw quickly sometimes. It shows in the line. The spontaneity and the fluidity of a nice confident line. There we go. Let's get the rest in with a thinner pen. This is a 0.4 pen. Just coming round like this. Let's quite carefully go around this eye. There we go. We're not after perfection. It's these little differences and wobbles <laughs> that make us human. Or in this case, that make us owl. There we go. Right, I'm going to draw 
four points on each eye. I think three, six, nine, twelve on a clock. And then once we've got those in, it's not too hard for us to draw some other lines, knowing that we're going to be on the right sort of angle. Easier to deal with things in small chunks. Like life. Very profound today, but then we are drawing a wise old owl. So maybe it's not any surprise. There we go. I'm going to give him some stripes on his body. A little bit more interest there. And I'm going to draw down so that we can see the fan feathers of his tail. And there he is. He is pretty much complete. I think I'm going to give him some cheeks and I think I'll have them coming off the side here like that. And I think we're pretty much done. He's quite cute. I'm going to rub out the pencil lines and we'll see what he looks like when he's all finished.